right. Hi, everyone. I'll give a couple minutes to see who gets on while I kind of get set up here. Here we go. All right. So, tonight I am going to do a pillowcase with some chalk couture here. And I've been really slacking on my lives. God, I haven't done one in a month, so bear with me here. I'm still getting used to all this, too. So, I found this great red pillow, and since Valentine's Day is coming up, I thought I'd stick with the theme. And we got this transfer now. It says, I love you and naps, which I think is great. So, I'm going to cut along these little white lines to separate my transfers. And I'll cut off the eyelids. I don't actually know if I'm going to use the eyelids or not yet. We'll see. But... I think this is going to make a great pillow here. So I'm going to be using the white chalk couture ink and I'm going to use our shiny silver ink. And it's not perfect. You can see some of my lines are still in there, but since I have to heat set this with an iron, I'm really not going to worry about getting it perfect just yet. Plus I'm going to, uh, stuff it too so that's going to take out most of the lines so this is a brand new transfer as you can see i just cut it apart so it's going to be super sticky which i really like to use new transfers when i use fabric just because i think it sticks to the product a lot better now of course with chalk couture it is reusable so it's going to be sticky even after this time that i use it and i'll be able to use it with other projects once i just wash it off but I just like that first real stick with the first time transfers. So I think that is about even. What does everybody else think? Does that look even to you guys? You guys got a better view than I do. Maybe if I stand up a little bit. I'm going to replace that. All right. There. I think that looks good. So I'm just smoothing it out to make sure there's no air bubbles. This, the silk screen where you can see the pillowcase... That's the most important part right there. So I'm gonna just smooth it out, make sure it's really nice and flat. And I'm gonna take some of my white ink here and just dip my little squeegee in here. Now it looks like I'm gonna be using a lot, but most of this is gonna come up with um, my squeegee. I'm not gonna put all this on the product. Just gonna put it, push it through that silk screen. Just keep going back and forth until it's nice and even in there. Just possibly. Just like that. So you can see I don't have any red splotches. Okay, now I don't have any red splotches where that silk screen was. And I'll just wipe the rest right back in my container to be used again later. Now since I'm using ink, I'm going to make sure my hands are nice and clean because the ink is permanent when it's placed down on fabric. So now I'll take this off and here comes the magic. There you are. So there's the first part of this. Now this is still wet, but because it's ink, it's going to stick into the fabric a lot better than like our paste would. Whereas with the paste, if I were to mess up on wood or anything, probably not with fabric, but with wood definitely or plastic, glass, any of that stuff, I'm going to be able to just wipe it off. The ink works a lot differently because it's permanent. Maybe if I threw this in the wash, it would come off, but... I'm going to heat set it so I won't have to worry about that. So whoever gets this lovely pillow um, will be able to wash it and not have to worry about the ink coming off. So now we're going to do this silver. We're going to do end naps. Jamie, this would be the perfect pillow for you. No, Jamie, it's a pillow. And since you love to sleep so much, that would be perfect for you, huh? 
Maybe this could be your Valentine's Day gift. <laughs> All right. Does that look even? I think that's pretty even. That looks good. So now I'm going to take the silver and this silver is one of our older colors. So it's a smaller size and it has this like little plastic cover in it. When Chocotour first came out, that's what they were using. Now we've upgraded to the three ounce size without the little plastic thing there. I'm going to wipe off this squeegee because I'm going to use it for this and naps part. So, just water. Washes right off. See, there you go. Will you be my valentine? <laughs> yes, Jamie. I will be your valentine. I don't know how Brandon will like that, but I'll be your valentine. Don't worry about that. As long as I get flowers. You can get the chocolate. I get the flowers, right? So, the silver is a little bit thinner. So, I'm going to kind of keep it pretty heavy on here. Just because I don't want it to be see-through. I want it to be a good silver color. And again, just pushing it all through that silk screen, making sure you can't see any red. And I'm making it an even layer, so it's not gonna be gloppy in some areas and not in others. I think that'll be good. Get that spot right there. Okay, just like that. And we'll pull this off. And there you are. There's the and naps. So I think that turned out really well. Now those transfers, I'll wash them off here in just a little bit and leave them sticky side up to dry and they'll be good to, as new, ready to use again. I don't know. Should I put on the eyes? What do people think? I've delivered all the flowers. This is, okay, all right, you get flowers this time. I get the chocolates. So no, it isn't paint, Colleen. It's um, a specialized ink. So it's kind of, Chocotour came out with its own specialized ink and specialized paste. The paste is water soluble. So you'll be able to wipe it off any projects that you mess up on um, or that you, might want to change up like I have my chalkboard around here somewhere that I use for my lives that I just do a live on and then I wipe it off and do another live on. So the paste is water soluble and works like that. It's thicker than paint though. Whereas the ink is our permanent. So once it's heat set, it's completely washable. The water won't take it off. Um, but I wouldn't, it's not paint, it's different. So what, what are we saying, yes to the eyes? All right. All right. Where should, okay, votes. Should I do it here between the I love you and naps or should I do it down here beneath everything? Which you guys can't even see. Down here or up here? Down here or up here? I pick here. What does everybody else think? No? Alright, well, I'm going to say here, guys. I don't know. Is that going to make it too crowded, though? Below naps. Alright, Jamie, you win. Below naps it is. So I'm going to stick it right about there. Put it on... All right, now you get another, what color should I do? Should I do black? Should I do white? Should I do silver? Should I do gold? Should I do pink? Somebody give me a color. Let's see, we got, we got, okay, hold on. Whew. What colors do we got here? I got a pink. There's the pink, or we could do the white or silver, or we can stick with good old black. Gold, all right, now I gotta find gold. So this is what Jamie thinks. 
Do we got any other choices? Everybody agree with the gold? Gold or silver? All right, two votes gold. We're doing gold. So I have old squeegees that I kind of cut up to do all these little detail stuff. And again, this is one of our old ones. Oh, and I do not use gold apparently all that often. All right. Whoop. Sorry. Did that make you guys dizzy? Because that kind of made me dizzy. All right. Does anybody have any questions that I can answer? I know, Colleen, I know you're thinking of joining. So if there's any questions, give me a shout out. I will answer anything. No. Oh, Ashley, I just saw your pink. I think pink would have looked cute. All right. Here's the gold. Let's see. She's going to have nice sparkly eyes, apparently. All right. So again, I'm leaving it on a little thicker than I probably normally would. And that's just because the shimmery is kind of a little bit more um, see-through than our normal pastes or our normal inks are. And another thing to think about Colleen is, um, or anyone, I guess, thinking of joining, but the paste you have to work a lot quicker with, whereas with the inks, I'm kind of taking my time because they don't dry off in the silk screens like the paste normally would. Does one container usually last? So I have had, let me get my stuff cleaned off so I don't make a huge mess. I have had, where is my first, there's silver. I've had silver since I started Chalk Couture over almost a year ago now, this month. And that's how much I've used. Um, because you use so little on each product, I can't give you a definite, like it'll last you, you know, a year or six months. Um, but you use so little, they really do last a while. The paste go a little bit quicker just because... Um, you tend to use paste a lot more than you do inks on projects, but here's a green. This is evergreen, one of the two ounces. I've had this since I started Chalk and you can see I still have quite a bit left in there. And the great thing about the paste is once you get, if it starts drying out on you, you just add a little water to it and it comes back just fine to the right consistency. So here's our project. I love you and naps. I think it turned out awesome. I love it. I'm going to stuff it and it's going to be part of my display at the February Fest in Anaconda. So if you're around um, the area, it'll be February 2nd at the elementary school, I believe it is, from 9 a.m. to 3. I'll be there all day long with Chalk Couture. I'll be doing demos. And having stuff for sale. So if you have any interest or have any questions, stop by and see me. And of course, you can message me too. Thank you guys. I really like how this one turned out. I think it turned out awesome. Jamie, good uh, color put together. All right, guys. That's it for me. Have a good night.